Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today I have a few friends in my house and they would like to ask me a few questions. As a matter of fact, they came so early. I just finished my uh, things and uh, they just knock at the door. But I think it's very important that you ask the question because according to you, you're going to be writing a paper based upon the question that you're going to be asking me. You are doing comparative religion and so uh, you need some clear-cut information and I would like to have it uh, on the record. So you could go ahead and ask your question. Sheikh, salam alaikum. Wa alaikum salam to Allah wa barakatuh. Sheikh, um, please, um, can you explain it to me? Because I'm really confused. Is Jesus uh, the Son of God or is he really God? Because they're Christians, my friends. I have Christian friends and they are saying Jesus is God. He's also the Son and I'm confused. So please, Sheikh. Okay. Uh, is it at workplace or in the school? At the school. At the school. University. Okay. Yeah, the university, right. And that is... Uh... Okay, it happens a lot. It is not the first time I've had this question. Uh, Sometimes they come asking, your friends will be asking you, uh, Muhammad, uh, who's Muhammad, this and that, and that Jesus is God, and that we don't have salvation. Uh, but uh, it's very unfortunate that uh, this very erroneous uh, misconception or concept that they have. Jesus can never be God in the first place because God cannot be born. And we know where Jesus came from. He came from a woman. Would you believe, or you just tell them, do you believe that Jesus Christ came from a woman, the underpart of the woman. I don't want to mention that. Will it be fit that God Almighty would come from that angle? No, it is impossible. The human man repelled this kind of idea. Uh, and if you ask them, who is the mother of Jesus? They will tell you, Mary is the mother of Jesus. Who born Jesus? Mary born Jesus. So who is the God of Mary? They will say God. And who is God? They will say Jesus. So Jesus was the mother of God. She breastfed him when he was a baby. She cleaned him up. She fed him. He needed her. God is independent of all need. So, uh, just, you know, we don't even have to talk about religion. Just using our bodily sense that God has given us, the God given bodily sense and mental powers. We can process and come to conclusion as to the fact that Christ could not be God. And then they say he died again. So, how can a God die? God does not die. You know, he does not have a mother, he does not have a father, he does not have a brother and sister. In fact, God is not a spirit. So if you think God is a spirit, that means you have an idea of what a spirit is. God is something that we can't even quantify. He is beyond his own creation. And therefore, Jesus is not God. Jesus got brothers and sisters. Okay, God is a Jew. You mean of all the tribes, why is God not Fulani? That is my tribe. I want God to be a Fulani. Why would he not be a white man, a Greek, a Japanese, a Hausa, a Dogomba, a Fanti, a Kanuri? Why would God be a Jew? Why would God take a tribe? Okay, what is the job of God? In the Bible, God is a carpenter. If he is God, he's a carpenter. So of all the technology, the computerization, the engineer, he didn't take any of the, with all due respect to, um, you know, carpenters. God is a carpenter. It doesn't fit in. They don't know. That is why you and I have to come into play. Allah said, You, the Muslim, are the best of nation to guide the other people. So if you don't raise our voice and let them understand what God is, then that means uh, we have a problem also. That's why God brought us about, to teach them and to let them understand the clear-cut truth about God Almighty. So, Abdul Salam, uh, really, um, the question, I believe, I've answered it to some degree. It is a big topic. We can, I can debate on that one. I can give lectures on that one. I can write papers on that one. It is not easy to just give an answer like that. But for any reasonable person that uses his thinking cap would come to the conclusion that Jesus Christ could not be a God. He had a God himself. He worshipped Matthew 26, 39. And Jesus fell on his face and he prayed. Pray to who? Do God's pray? No. So clearly, he's telling us that he's not a God. He's the messenger of God. You have, you have one more question? Yes, okay, let's do it. Let's um, do it. I have first. another question. Oh, um, right. say, um, please, um, did Jesus really die on the cross to save mankind as... Um, well, again, this is one of, the, one of the biggest and 
you know, fattest topic we can, we can't do justice to this topic right now. But I'll just give you a few understanding. Um, the Quran said, wa ma wa ma There is no killing, there is no crucifying him. So clearly, uh, we understand from the Quranic point of view, from Islamic point of view, from logic point of view, from common sense point of view, that Jesus Christ did, uh, uh, did not die on the cross. Because if he died on the cross, he will be a false prophet. Why? Because in the book of Deuteronomy, it says, anyone who commit a crime, and you want to, uh, and, 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 and you kill him for his sin that he committed, you have to bury him that same day because whosoever is hung on the cross is a curse of God. So if Jesus hung on the cross, then that means he's a curse of God. Regime. The curse is used for shaitan. Jesus is not a curse of God, therefore he did not die. And the Bible in the book of Mark 26, 39, and Jesus walked in the in the upper room, and the Jews and 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 and, and when they saw Jesus Christ, they were afraid. And he said, Why do thoughts arise in your heart? It is I myself. Handle me and see. For a spirit have no flesh and bone. Because they were thinking he's a spirit. Now, if he has flesh and bone, he could not be a spirit. And there are so many other things. Clearly, in the book of Matthew, chapter chapter 15, I believe there's something like that, where some people came to ask Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, show us a miracle to believe that you are you are you are you are the man of God. And he said, an evil and adulterous generation looking for a sign from me, there shall not be a sign given except the sign of Jonah. And he said, as Jonah was three days and three nights in the belly of the earth, so shall I, the son of man, be three days and three nights in the belly of the earth. Clearly, Jonah was in the water, in the, in, the, in the womb or in the stomach of the whale for three days. He did not die. Jesus said, my story will be just like Jonah. We expect Jesus Christ to die, but he didn't die. We expect no, uh, Mo, uh, uh, Jonah to die, and Jonah did not die. This is something that I've just swept through. But if you have to go deep and to explain, we will need uh, about one hour so I could give you about 25 or 30 different verses from the, from the, from the, from the, from the Bible, and then I'm going to buttress it with the Quran. So clearly, Jesus Christ did not die. Okay, I think we should do another video on that one because there's, there's got to be a sequel to this video. But right now, um, I don't want to do too much talk because sometimes the audience don't want to listen too much. We are in the age of fast moving, everybody's just in a hurry. So I'll leave it at that. Inshallah, we'll do another topic. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh.